Well, hi there, YouTube. <clears throat> Chad here again, doing another Bible review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Westminster Reference Bible. This is made by the Trinitarian Bible Society. It is the authorized King James Version, which is all the, the Bible Society uh, deals with. It is bound in Mariva calfskin leather. It has various Bible study helps, concordance and maps, and check that out, 200,000 cross-references. I love cross-references. That's why I got this beautiful Bible. And it comes in a clamshell fold-open box, which does not want to open. But here I'll show you the back. And I'm just going to record this stuff, and you can pause it and look yourself. Um, I love cross-references. When I study the Bible, one of my favorite things to do is I use a principle which is called Analogia Scriptura, or the analogy of Scripture. What that means is I let Scripture interpret Scripture. One of the best ways you can do this is by using cross-references. show you guys the uh, barcode and ISBN there. This is the standard size in black Mariva calfskin. Now, before I got this black Mariva calfskin, I did buy the Reformation edition in hardcover. The reason why I got this, these usually sell for, I think, 20 Let me uh, check the price here, because off to the side I have my phone pulled up. Okay, these retail at tbsbibles.org for $17. Well, I found this on eBay for 9 and they said it was in very good condition, and in my opinion, it was in like-new condition. Not a mark on it excellent there you see 1517 to 2017 and there's the Trinitarian Bible Society seal on the spine and uh, here on the spine and the front cover you see all these different historical locations there you see Martin Luther a statue of Luther and there's one of the famous old churches there in uh, Germany, or maybe that was Luther, I can't remember. But all these uh, things you see on the front, just wonderful. This comes with a single ribbon, double-faced satin. Uh, it's blue. It also comes in brown, genuine leather. Uh, I can't remember what kind it is. I think it's calf skin. Um, but here you can see on the very back also another famous place and here it says 1517 to 2017 Reformation Commemorative Edition for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith Romans 1 16 and 17 um, the verse that started the Reformation now I got both of these and these are basically uh, very similar uh, let's go ahead and open up on the uh, Reformation edition here you see the presentation page and then here you see the title page And there's the explanation of that stuff that you saw on the cover, you see. There's your explanation of what you were looking at. Here is their 500th anniversary of the Reformation article. And I'll zoom in on that a little bit. 
enough to where you guys can pause it and read it if you want. Okay. Trying to do some different stuff with my videos now. I'm not going to be in such a rush. There you go. Enough to where you guys can uh, pause this and check it all out. Here's a timeline of significant Bible translations arriving from the Protestant Reformation. This was actually a pretty cool thing. And I'll go ahead and very slowly show this so you can read it. I have dry fingers. Okay, and here is that actual timeline of Reformation Bibles. And I think it's more not just Reformation Bibles, but also just a timeline of important things that happened during the Reformation period. And I thought this was actually very neat. And that's all on cardstock. Then you get a, a blank page here. And then, uh, if I can do this without, there we go. Here's the title page for the KJV, along with the TBS seal and address. And this is on Bible paper. And this is a very fine uh, European Bible paper. Um, I, I gotta say that. And here is... Let's see here. These are printed by Cambridge University. And here is the various different uh, editions which are available, or at least were, I don't think all of these are. And as you can see here, printed and bound in the Netherlands by Youngblood. So this is that, uh, you know, top quality uh, type of binding. It's got the epistle dedicatory to King James, uh, helpful characteristics to the authorized version, a guide to using the compact Westminster Reference Bible, list of books and abbreviations, and you have the Holy Scripture table of weights and measures, list of words and proper names with pronunciation, and a Bible reading plan. <clears throat> There's the epistle dedicatory to King James. And all these pages are sticking. Okay. There we go. And then you get into the helpful characteristics of the authorized version. Various helpful characteristics. The guide to using the compact Westminster Bible. Now this is not with metrical psalms. I gotta say this. And I'll give you some more information here. Let's go ahead and skip it open so you can see the... Uh, Uh, there we go. There's the Old Testament title page. And here we are in Genesis. Now, some information on this. Okay. 200,000 cross references. The font size here is a bit on the small side, but it's actually very crisp and clear. Uh, it is a 7.3 uh, 
uh, point font. It says it's got good clear print and I can vouch for that. Um, this is line matched. It is black text throughout. A sewn binding. Um, and I tell you what, this is just great. This is actually supposed to have two ribbon markers. One orange and one blue. But all I'm seeing is the blue. Where'd the orange go? Huh. I don't know. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, it's supposed to have one orange and one blue ribbon marker. All I have is one blue. So I'm, I'm not concerned about that. I can always add more myself. This has a cream colored paper to it. This is not white. This is like an eggshell uh, where it's more of a creamy type paper. Now essentially what Trinitarian Bible Society did, and actually let me switch to that, uh, let me check out that Mariva calfskin. Okay, so here's the Mariva calfskin and there you can see the grain on the cover and it's got a very lovely grain, it's very pleasant to the touch um, almost, a, almost a touch rubbery but it, there's just something about it, it feels good and I gotta show you, this does have a thick cut of leather when you're looking right here on the, uh, on the edge it's folded over so that's double thickness but I got to say that double thickness um, is pretty, I mean even without that double thickness it's still just wonderful. Now it does have a vinyl liner, a uh, paste down liner so you can see where it will bubble up when you kind of crease it a little bit. Now with mine this does have gold gilding but I added underneath the, red, uh, the gold I added red art gilding. I did that using Ranger Archival Ink in red geranium. And this one comes with four ribbon markers. Uh, two red and two black. These are one quarter inch. And I don't think these are faced at all. Um, I'm, I'm actually thinking about taking these off and replacing them completely. But this has the same paper as the other one and this is the standard size Mariva calfskin and let me pull up the information on that one okay Mariva calfskin this one uh, has a 9.6 font gift presentation page translator to the reader epistle dedicatory list of pronunciation of words and proper names, word lists in the margins, table of weights and measures, daily Bible reading plan, concordance and color, maps. Um, let's see here, 9.6 font presentation box, good clear print, cross references, black text throughout, sewn binding, four marker ribbons, Bible paper, gilt page edges, mine has uh, art gilt, <laughs> semi yap page protection, decorative head and tail bands. So let's check out that yap. There it is. Um, they did say it's a semi yap and yeah I guess so. So anyway let's go ahead and start opening this one up and checking it out. Okay you open it up and you get past the uh, liner and then you have one two pieces of cardstock then you get to your first page which is very simple, has a nice little border on it, um, decorative border, and a scripture written on it. And then you turn the page again, and there you can see down in the gutter the stitching. So this does have a sewn binding. There you can see the stitching yourself. Um, more scripture reference. And I, I kind of like that. I think that's kind of neat. Just a nice little fancy thing they added. One of my favorite passages of scripture right there. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. There you have your title uh, gift page presentation page 
that's it for the cardstock. You're now going into that beautiful creamy paper. And this is going to be basically a larger version of what was in the compact. <coughs> Excuse me. So there you have your epistle dedicatory to King James. And then you're going to have the translators to the reader. Now th there is ghosting on this, but it is not bad at all. The ghosting is, is not in any way uh, detractable from the readability of this Bible. Uh, this is about the worst ghosting I've seen in this Bible. And it, it's coming up just a little bit worse than it is in real life. But there's your translators to the reader. And you know with these wide margins, there's even... Uh, references here so I thought that was pretty neat because even some of these references aren't even in English see there's a reference in Koine Greek so uh, that was really neat the way my art gilding turned out was a lot better than I had expected or hoped for honestly it looks like it was done at the factory where it was built so, once you get past the translators to the reader, if I can get through this, let's see here, and there you can see I made just a little tiny boo-boo with my art gilding, but that's okay. Okay, you can pass the translators to the reader. Now, various helpful characteristics of the authorized version. Same exact thing as what was in the smaller one. Uh, here's a guide to using the Westminster Reference Bible, which I thought was just pretty neat. The use of asterisks. And it shows here how, you know, you have text, and then you might have a word like peradventure. Uh, and there's a little asterisk there. Then you go to your... Uh, side column, your wide margin, instead of having a wide margin, this is where they put this, the cross references, but also definitions of words. So you'll see that asterisk, and then you go here to the asterisk, and it'll say peradventure, if. So this actually has the more difficult words that some people struggle with defined within the uh, within the margins and I thought that's just a great thing now here zooming in on Genesis opening it right up and you'll see right here uh, at the beginning of each chapter there's a summary of everything that happens in the chapter very reminiscent of the Thompson chain reference study Bible and then you also have your wide margin which is where they had printed uh, alternate translations and center column references and and also your uh, your definitions of words like firmament means sky right there so you get that and this is printed all entirely in black letter text even if you go through and we're just gonna skip right into that New Testament get right into Matthew if we can here Okay, Hosea, there we are in Matthew, let's see if we can back it right to the very beginning, okay, so here we are at the very beginning, there you see Malachi, and then there's your New Testament title page um, for the KJV. And then you get into it and look at the amounts of, of cross references. And they try to keep the cross references right next to the scripture that it's designed to go with. And you can see that a little bit better over here where there's not quite as many. Um, of course, it's not always going to be possible to do that, but they do try to do that as best they can. Here's another example of that. Now, I got to say, sewn binding this wonderful European Bible paper and there is almost no glare whatsoever you gotta work to get that glare printed and bound in the Netherlands by Youngblood now I have heard that some of these are not printed and bound in the Netherlands 
but I believe both of mine are. Let's double check that. I'm pretty sure both of mine are, but we'll find out here in a second. Okay, yeah. See, I'm both of mine printed and bound in the Netherlands by Youngblood. So, there we have it. <sighs> wonderful, wonderful. And I did not get the one with the metrical psalms because I do not go to a church. Uh, here's some psalms for you. I do not go to a church where they need a psalter. We do not sing the psalms in the church I go to. I would not mind it, though. I tell you what, with a lot of the modern worship music that's coming out, I honestly would not mind going back to singing the psalms and using a psalter. Like I said, this is a 9.6 font, very comfortable to read, uh, very well-spaced, line-matched, and I'm sorry if I'm annoying you with the zoom. I'm trying to get used to it. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So now we get into the appendixes, and there is the table of weights and measures used in Holy Scripture. Of course, there's the very end of the book of Revelation. So... Let's see here, there's your weights and measures. Let's get through all this. Appendix number two, a list of words and proper names with their pronunciation. That can be very helpful. And that's a pretty good section there. It goes on for a while. Okay, then you're going to get into a daily reading plan okay All right, I'm gonna show this appendix 3 daily reading plan a concise course whereby one can read through the whole Bible once in two years in the Psalms and New Testament twice then another scripture reference or two <laughs> and then you see your I'll let my fingertips here your daily reading plan and honestly I'm not a big fan of daily reading plans here is your uh, concordance and this concordance is in paragraph format I maybe it's just an American thing I don't know I tend to prefer the line by line style of concordance even though I'm almost positive that these paragraph style concordances uh, like you find in British Bibles like uh, Cambridge or Schuyler or whatever uh, and I think Schuyler, I don't know, I don't have a Schuyler but I think all these uh, these paragraph style concordances I think they actually have more references than the standard ones like we get in our American Bibles but you know it's 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 a preference thing I'm just glad to have that concordance and the concordance in this is, is pretty pretty good size is it exhaustive no it's not a Strong's concordance but it does have uh, a, a pretty good in my estimation uh, size concordance and then once you get to the very end of that concordance, uh, then you have several pages, uh, probably about 15 or 10 pages of blank paper you can use for notes. Then you get into your cardstock paper, and this is your map section, of course. And there uh, maps are on flat matte cardstock. That's how I prefer my maps. Um, you know, the glossy paper for maps is okay, but I just prefer the flat cardstock. 
that you could actually write on if you wanted to or draw on if you wanted to and you wouldn't have to worry about it smearing then after that you've got let's see here you've got one piece of cardstock and then you have your end sheet which also is your paste down liner um, but yeah that's it it's got uh, very nicely Holy Bible Westminster Reference Bible TBS that's all stamped in there and then you have these wonderful ribs that are tooled in these are actually the the wording here uh, is actually debossed in it's it's imprinted into it and then you have the, the wonderful spine ribs these are not raised at all um, these are just uh, tooled in but they are wonderful and there you can see that wonderful Mariva calfskin and I just love it so yeah if, if you're looking for a good Bible here's the uh, if you if you are one that likes uh, cross references this is definitely a way to go it also has the harder to understand words to find in those side columns plenty of cross references this thing's built like a tank you know it's uh, Smith's own uh, very very beautiful gold gilding like I said I added the red under gold to mine which just came out lovely looks professional um, absolutely adore it and I tell you what for around 60 bucks can't go wrong I mean this is definitely like an heirloom quality Bible it's gonna just break in and get softer and softer with use and over time um, and if you're one and, and you can handle a smaller font like a 7.4 then you know you can get this compact size uh, Westminster and it's the same type of paper the same type of print it's just a smaller print this is 7.4 compared to the uh, 9.6 of the uh, calf skin and uh, on top of that there's a third one they have which is large print so you can even get this in a larger print if you needed it um, but yeah couldn't believe I, I was able to pick this uh, this compact reformation edition up for 10 bucks very happy with it and I thought okay now I was just gonna get this just so I could check out you know what the uh, Westminster was all about got it checked it out for a couple hours um, then I decided yep I'm gonna have to get the the calf skin so awesome deal for me very happy with my purchases hope you guys enjoyed the reviews of both of these you got a two for one on this video anyway I just want to say uh, I love you and God bless you if you have any questions or comments drop them down below I'll see you later this is Chad good night YouTube